Hi guys, I'm back. Oh my god, I know it's been forever. I'm Carla, Rolodex Stitches, and this is my floss tube channel. And this is floss tube number 25, I believe. Uh, today is February 8th of 2021. Uh, those of you that watched my <laughs> my whip parade from last month, We'll notice that I definitely said 2020 a lot instead of saying 2021, but hey, I don't think I'm alone in that uh, camp. Um, thank you so much for coming back and checking me out again, spending some time with me while you stitch, while you hang out, while you do whatever. I know a lot of you said that you <laughs> that you just kind of put me on and then clean. Um, I know <laughs> Cassandra from Autumn Lane Stitchery, she said she was doing laundry and then suddenly she just heard me dropping F-bombs and she had to like run out of the... <laughs> In the laundry room like what's Carla saying this time <laughs> so if I distract you from whatever chores you're doing you're welcome I guess is probably what I'm trying to say <laughs> uh, yeah this is a floss tube channel where we talk about cross stitch and where I curse at really odd random times I promise I do not have Tourette's I have been checked <laughs> it is mostly just my personality um, I have a lot to show you today. I have a lot of FOs. I have a lot of FFOs. Who am I? And then I have a lot of whips that I'm working on, and I actually have a hell of a lot of haul. So, um, let's just get right into this because it's, this mound over here is quite legendary. Um, let's start with some FOs, some finished objects. Some things that I have finished stitching on recently. And by recently, I'm going to use that term kind of loosely because um, in, like I said before, my last floss tube was just a whip parade. So some of the things that you haven't seen since, I want to say December, but it definitely could have been the end of November when I showed you these last. But um, I'd like this one here that I have on this <laughs> lovely little uh, hangy car, <laughs> hangy thing. I let my mom me so so as uh some of you have noticed in watching other floss tubes my mom is now very affectionately known as mama rolodex um she has become very enamored with this section of the youtube community she watches several of uh several floss tubers with me and not that she plays favorites but girl plays favorites and she absolutely adores um steel city stitchers like Thursdays, she comes running up to me and she's like, oh my God, do they have, are the girls on? That's what she says. <coughs> it's, um, it's endearing and adorable and I love it because she sits with me and the woman never sits down. Pause real, sorry about that. I had a coughing fit. I have a little bit of nasal congestion. It's not the COVID, I promise. Um, but anyways, she never sits down. She very, she's always in motion. She, you know, lives in her little apartment downstairs in the basement. You know, it's like a, a mother-in-law suite as, as it's called and um, she loves having her own space and she knows that you know she wants us to have our own space too so she doesn't invade and become all you know annoying but during the day she never sits down and never holds still so the fact that she will curl up on this couch right here where I'm sitting right now and watch for you know for an hour two hours floss tube with me is just precious I love it I think it's amazing so and those girls affectionately have named her Mama Rolodex because, of course, I messaged Erin and, and all the girls like, hey, so you have a number one fan and I feel like it's time you knew about her <laughs> and it's adorable. But anyways, back to what I was saying, those of you that remember my mentionings of her from previous floss tubes, woman really likes to iron. Um, she especially loves to iron my pieces that I have, you know, um, what's the word? Sorry, I'm reaching. Uh, that I finish and it really bothers her when I show a wrinkly piece of fabric on my channel. I like to do it now just to mess with her because I think it's funny because I just like her reaction and wrinkles don't bother me but also a nice you know ironed piece of fabric doesn't bother me either. So I let her iron these is the long and short of it and then after she ironed oh, let me just pull this up so you can see it. So this is my first FO um, that I'm going to show you today. And it is, oh, look, she's finally done. This is Tiny Modernists 2018. Does that sound right? 2018 Mystery Christmas Sal called 
Santa Santa's house. That's what it's called. So after she ironed it and brought it up, I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. And then I noticed that in my <laughs> rush to get done, I did not finish some of the backstitching. Like this needs to be backstitched like that. And then I think it's these. Is it that? Oh, this over here. Yeah. So these are backstitched. These are not. <laughs> so just a couple little things. So I guess technically it's not an FFO or not an FO yet. But if I really wanted to smack it in a frame or to FFO it, I don't think I'd be too mad about it. Um, she said she ironed it, which obviously she did because it's very non-creased. But she, she didn't want to do it too sharply. Or too, uh, that's not the word. Too hot. She didn't want to get the iron too hot because she's, you know, it'll, she's scared. But this is, these will come off when I actually iron it later because those are just my Frixion pins. Grid marks. And of course, that's what I just noticed. But anyways, I've been holding that up. That's FO number one. Yay! Very cool. FO number two is this beautiful piece. I think I did show this on my on my Instagram if you follow me over there. This is Bindi Stitchy. Oh, look at that. God, this is her acceptance chart. So I have to turn it so I can remember to read it. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation. It means understanding that something is what it is and there's got to be a way through it. I changed it just slightly. I just um, changed the word acceptance and is what it is <laughs> just to uh, kind of bring a little bit more attention to it. And for those sharp eagle eyes out in the crowd today, we'll notice that I had actually already had these words changed. And I think these, but they were in like a blue and they didn't show up very well in this. So I changed them to a purple. So yeah, Ugh, I love this chart. This was her, um, um, it was a charity chart, I believe, for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's. And I love it. I can't wait to FFO that one. Um, next one is also for the same foundation, but different designer. Oh, I don't have anything big enough. I'm going to just hold this up and hope it's not too see-through-y. But this is from Lollipop Stitches. Ah, oh, look! Try to get it all in there. This is a Back to the Future quote by, <laughs> by Dr. Brown. Oh, I love it so much. It's um, in Back to the Future 3. At the, end, at the very end with the train. Um, your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. And I again, I can't remember if I changed the colors <laughs> of that last sentence or if it was already charted like that. But either way, I love it. And I love the flux capacitors, uh, little symbol -y thingies up here. Fun fact, my husband, my beautiful, amazing husband, got this really cool... It's not really thread and it's not really yarn. As far as I can tell, it is ac it was actually pulled from the devil's own ass hair. Um, that's how fun it was to work with. It is beautiful. Is it, ooh, there it is. Yeah, that's good. But man, it made me angry. I had lots of fits working with it. But it's so damn pretty. So it's worth it. But man, def definitely, definitely devil ass hair thread. Angry stuff. Very pretty. That was number three. Um, number four is this beautiful one. Um, Y'all know from Christmas that um, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Look at that. Look, this is so outside my normal realm of, of like, how prim and pretty it is. Like, just look. I even, like, Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it. I can't wait for that one. I want it like a really like pretty, like gl not glitzy, primmy frame. I want it just framed and I want to just have it out all year round. Probably not. It'll probably only be for Christmas, but ugh. Because Die Hard's a Christmas movie. <laughs> so what is that? I've already lost count. Number five? Number four? Um, I think we're going into numerical order now. Um, as everyone knows or should know, we have a new president of the United States. And on Inauguration Day, I hope, I know that a lot of you joined me in celebrating and stitching for Inaugural Stitch Day 2021. And this was my finish. This pattern is by the wonderfully talented Jennifer over at Whistle Stop Stitcher. This was a uh, complimentary chart. I don't remember exactly where... 
her charts are right now, like the, the complimentary ones, I believe they're just in a link on her inst on her Instagram. So go check out her Instagram, see if she has a link tree. And I'm pretty sure one in there says like freebie charts or something. But this is one of them and it's a quote by Barack Obama. And it says, in the face of impossible odds, people who love their country can change it. And I think no matter which side of the, <laughs> of which side you stand on, that feels pretty prominent. It feels pretty true. So I thought it was very accurate for, especially this coming up couple years we got going on. Um, it's beautiful. And again, the, the words of changing love and change, that's not my idea. That was by, oh shoes, I'm going to forget your floss tube name. I have credited her in my in one of my in my Instagram posts when I sh when I talked about this one and how it was finished. She changed the words on that one, the color of the words, and I was like, "That's perfect." And it goes with all the other ones that I've changed. So, and my awesome I descent pen, not a pen, it's a needle minder from um, Colleen over at Rebel De Rebel Stitcher Designs. She still has several of these, I or maybe a couple left. Go check out her um, Facebook group. She has some. Of beautiful needle minders on there um, but I think when I finish it I'm gonna keep that one on there just because it goes so well and we miss her I just sent so yeah that's fo number something um, the next one is this <gasps> this is the way <laughs> look at it oh my god so first this is OG uh, uh, Jody is a wizard fabric. This was some of her like very first trial and errors. She sent this to me when I still lived in Japan. <laughs> like, and it's awesome. So it's very, I finally found something worthy of it. This is um, by Steno Stitchers. I have, I will keep, put their information below along with all the rest of this. Um, they are su a super talented uh, husband and wife couple and super sweet. I've really got, I've really enjoyed getting to know, I, I know the wife more than I know the husband, but they're very, very kind people and I'm loving it. So in this one, I'm actually sending back to her and she's going to turn it into a project bag for me. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap, that's amazing. I need to get my light a little bit better here. Shoes. Anyways, you can see it. You know what it is. This makes me happy. I was a little scared about this border at first. I was like, oh, that's going to be, is it going to be boring? What's going to go on? No joke. I just flew through all five colors. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can count uh, five colors of this in less than a night. I mean, it's just straight line stitching. It's not like you should be scared of it, but it is awesome. I really love stitching words. So this was a, this was a really enjoyable project for me. And I really like their, their, um, patterns go check them out steno stitchers stitches <laughs> instagram and etsy super cute and then my final fo of the day and of the past three months is again is this spider's plaything, along with amazing jody fabric and amazing jody floss and if you don't know who I'm, who I'm, who I'm saying by when I say Jody, I mean Jody of Steel City Stitchers. She is a dying wizard. Um, Michelle likes to call her an alchemist, and that's also very, very true. Sorry about that. Had a had a phone call. So back to Spider's Play thing. So I was talking about Jody and her amazing, <laughs> amazing talent at dyeing fabric and hand painting floss, because she is a freaking wizard. Um, so she dyed this fabric. I only used half of it because I was smart. <laughs> I was very, very smart and I'm going to be uh, miserly with this. And then she hand painted that floss. Look at that. Look at the, the purple. You can't see it super well in my crept out colors here, but the purple and then the red here and then the variegation in this like salt and pepper black gray. Ugh, it is to die for. Love it, love it. This was a stitch along that I did with Jody, of course. And then Michelle, Bendy Stitchy, decided to horn in and be like, I wanna join you guys. So we took pity on her and said she could sit with us. <laughs> um, in case no one knows, Michelle and I have had a feud for the past couple months and it's been super amazing. <laughs> She's actually one of my besties, so please no one take that seriously. Just know that she and I adore each other and we adore picking with each other. Not like picking on, but picking with. 
fun shit. You want to be us. It's okay. Anyways, this is my last FFO of the past couple months. I'm sorry, FO of the past couple months. There is that. Other stuff. Are you ready for FFOs? Because it's been rather crazy. The FFOs that I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a lot. And all seven or eight of these, however many, are thanks to Mama Rolodex. She's like, you said you wanted to have more stuff to show on your floss tube, so let's get going. And I was like, you're right, I did, but I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> you know how we all get. We have, like, I don't know if everyone feels this way, but I have to, like, be in the mood. I, the, the, the FFO inspiration has to strike, and it is not stricken lately. <laughs> struck? It's not struck lately. Words are hard. Um, and also, I like to joke around with my mom and say that the only reason that she lives with us now is to do my FFOing. And she's like, if this is what you brought me here for, then I should at least do it. You're right, woman. You, you should. So, But she actually really enjoys doing this stuff. It's, it's that, that gene skipped me. So did the cleaning gene. Hmm. Weird. FFO number one. I hate the way I did this one. I hate the way I stitched this, but it looks so cute like this, so I'm gonna leave it up. But I hate that I did all, I did like three, maybe four strands of DMC. It's rough. And then I, and then I back stitched. Oh, I'm sorry, pause. Sorry, if it's not one phone, it's nine others in my house. That's what happens when people work from home and kids can't take their phones to school, so. Because I'm that type of mom. Anyways, um, this is my, what is it, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, which I never say properly, but I might have just gotten it right. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I've loved this pattern for a long time. It's super cute. Um, my daughter is a sloth. Like, it's, I'm pretty sure she shares DNA, like a large amount of DNA with a, a sloth because she's so slow like she meanders <laughs> it's, it's really annoying as a mom <laughs> just say that but anyways then my mom let me see if i can get the glare off this my mom found this cute little sloth patch i think i got that in japan and just put it on there maybe is it better over here y'all so it, i'm in iowa there's about seven eight inches of snow in my backyard i'm facing that window Hence, it's very bright. But this is where I'm at. Anyways, super cute. Love this one. She just put some cute little pom-pom trim around there and a little bit of a ribbon. And look, it's done. FFO number one. Next one. I love. It makes me so happy. This is the second of the whistle, whistle Stop Stitcher patterns that I'll be showing today. <gasps> a Stitcher's Place is in the resistance. I love this. I love absolutely love this. It's got a lot of little stringy glue on it, but it's okay. Look, look how cute that is. <laughs> Again, the finishing is all my mom. Um, I help, I showed her how to like cut out the foam board and that's it. Then she just goes from there. Is that better? I'm gonna say that's better. Um, I'm trying to remember where this floss is from. I think it's stitching stuff. It's somewhere on Etsy. I will link it below. Absolutely beautiful really enjoy stitching with that floss. Huh. There we go. And she just had this little thing. She's like, I'm just gonna hot glue that on there. And I'm like, girl, no one's stopping you. FFO number two. Um, FFO number three. Look at this. <gasps> Eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. Uh, she just painted a regular wood hoop in a kind of a similar matching color. And then I shoved it in there and I'm not gonna show you the back, but I whip stitched <laughs> the back of it and it's all done. It's ready to be hung up. You can't see it, but over there <laughs> is my stitchy spot. And eventually I'm gonna show you my stitchy spot because eventually I'm gonna have a whole wall of all my stitchy stuff back there. Now I'm excited and this is good. Most of these are gonna be hung up over there. Super cute. All right, next. I have to finagle how to hold this one because we haven't fully fastened 
the piece on there yet. See, this part is not connected here yet. But look at this. <laughs> this is Hildy's Brew by Michelle Bendy Stitchy Designs. Look at that. I love it. This is like a big ass wood pumpkin and it's awesome. I love it. Uh, this just needs, I think we're going to do maybe washers or hell we might just hot glue it. I don't know. It's not very heavy. So I'm just because this is heavy, this is wide enough. You can just set it up and be ready to go. Sorry, back. Um, it's going to be one of those choppy videos, but that's what happens when life happens. So because life uh, finds a way. Naked Jeff Goldblum. Okay, um, back to FFOs. This is one of my favorites. <gasps> Look, Stone Street Stitchworks Bookhouse. Look at this. If you've never seen this, this pattern, you need to go run to her, to her shop and look at it. Check it out. Look, the freaking leaves are books. And I did change all the colors on here. So hers is much more neutral. It goes with a lot of different things. But this is my house where I grew up. She was yellow. It was yellow with a red brown roof and a bright, bright like teal aquamarine door. My grandma loved it. And this is the house I grew up in. And I love that all the other windows are, you know, like nighttime shaded because everyone's sleeping. Except this one right here where I was sleeping. And I had my light on because I was reading past my bedtime because I lived in books more than I lived anywhere else. One of my all time favorite pieces right here. And I finished it in a nice simple hoop finish. Also painted this. I didn't. My mom did. <laughs> but easy, ready to go. Ready to be hung up. It makes I'm going to actually put that right here. Where? That is not going to stay. <gasps> Look, that makes me so happy. Ah, uh, last FFO of the season. I don't know if it's season, but it's this this floss tube. This is Eat, Drink, and Be Scary by Catherine. <laughs> My girl Catherine over at Paper Crane Studios. I love this. So I had hung on to this fabric for a very, very long time. This is, uh, I believe it's 14 count, Witch's Brew by... Um, hand dyed fabrics, mystic hand dyed fabrics. She has a website and she also has a very active, wonderful Facebook group. Um, and I finally, when I saw Catherine put out this piece right around August, September, right around there, I knew that this was what I needed it for, so. And then we just did like a little flat finish and this is some Lady Dot Creates pom -pom, mini pom pom trim from one of the I believe. Oh yeah, it was the it was the Halloween box from Black Needle Society. It was perfect. There and if you notice, there's no purple nor green in this piece, but it's all Halloween themed. So in my mind, it worked really well. Use a little bit of extra of the pom pom for a hanger. Boom shakalaka. She's an FFO. She's a fully finished object, and she makes me happy. So we're gonna put this one right here. You can't see it because of my head, but hmm. I'm put it right there. There you go. Much better. Those are all my FFO FFOs. Whew. Goodness. So, and we're already however long into this we are. Thanks for hanging out. Um, real quick, I want to say thank you so much um, to everyone who supports me, of course, and just says, you know, says, leaves a comment, likes, follows, subscribes, anything. Thank you so much for that. It makes me feel so wonderful. But also I have a buy me a fancy floss account. Um, I link it down below and it's also on my Instagram. And so many of you have bought me a fancy floss. It's actually um, like buy me a coffee is the actual title of it. But um, I stole the idea from my girl Annie over at Joyfield Stitchers because you no, know, we're we we work with floss a lot, and we work with a lot of fancy floss. And I really only drink coffee at home, <laughs> so buying me a fancy floss seemed like a better uh, a better name for it. But it's I, I don't want to like call everyone out on who bought me those because I don't know you didn't tell me you could say say my name say your name, so I'm not going to say that. But you know who you are, and thank each and every one of you for the kind words that you send with it. They're just you know they say oh you know you've just bring me so much joy or you make me laugh until I pee and 
And if I can make anyone laugh till they pee, hell, I feel like I should pay you. But <laughs> thank you so much for supporting me and for just hanging out with me. It really <laughs> warms my little dead heart. So thank you very much. Again, those links are down below if you feel you want to do that because that's cool. It's, it's a very cool thing that you do and it's not obligated and you're not obligated at all. But if you want to, you can. So thanks guys. Um, I'm gonna jump into just my whips now. A lot of the whips you saw because I finished so many of them um, the past month, like the the this is the way one, the spider uh, spiders play thing, the impossible odds. Those are all that I've worked on this past month, in like in January, in the beginning of February. But then also what I worked on is um, I'm gonna toss. I don't have a picture because it's a digital, but it's a uh, never. Never enough. That's not what it's called. Shoot, you see it here. It's another uh, Paper Crane Studios. Paper Crane Stitches. Paper Crane Studios. Y'all, you know I know her name. It's Catherine. And you know I love her. <laughs> so this is it. And there's a sal that goes along. I'll drop the hashtag down below or I'll put it here if I know how. Um, this is my start on that. This is, uh, I think this is my fabric from Diana. She, she dyed this for me and sent it along. It's absolutely beautiful with this floss, but I'm feeling like I might change it up. I also have this super white. I think this is like Lugana, maybe, with this floss. What do you think? Should I restart and do it on the white? Make it look crisp? Or do we like the prim look a bit with like the kind of beigey tan. I'm gonna let y'all decide over the next two weeks or so. I'll put it on my Instagram stories as well and let you actually vote there. But if you don't have Instagram, just drop a comment below, say what you like the, the, the prim look more or the, the clean white. Cause I love it and I'm still working on it, but I, something, I can't decide what I want. And when I can't decide what I want, then I make you decide because that's who I am as a person. <laughs> Next Sal that I am working on, I won this whole kit from the, um, it was a, I won it from Lolly, Lolly Pop Stitches. Hey bae. Um, but it was, I believe it was kind of sponsored by Sally at Caterpillar Cross, Caterpillar Cross Stitch for her made to create Sal. That is what we're, what it's at so far. And, <gasps> Look, I'm caught up. Who am I? Look, this never happens. I've never stayed caught up with a thing before. And now look at it, there it is. Um, these are all the called for colors, except the needle. I wanted it to stand out a little bit more because it was the same color as this like crochet hook, but I wanted it darker. I don't know, I guess I wanted it to look oxidized. So I used um, the super dark silver of diamond. And it was pretty good to work with. And then um, the only other not called for thing is this fabric. I had had this fabric um, from Be Stitch Me. It's Huckleberry, I believe, and it's 32 count ish. Might be a little smaller. I can't remember. Um, yeah, 32 count Huckleberry by Be Stitch Me, and it, I don't know. I just felt like it popped on it. I like it a lot. I would love to keep up to date when the next one comes out. I believe it's the end ish of February. Does that sound right, y'all? I think it's only like five or six releases. And if I can make that happen, that will be a definite first. And I will be more shocked than you. Flat out. <laughs> um, the next piece that I've worked on is one that we have talked about a lot. And not today, but uh, I have talked about it a lot and how I am very excited. And I couldn't believe I hadn't started it yet. And everyone said they wanted it to start it with me and sal it along. So we have a sal going on for, let me get this thread wrapped around here, for cinnamon stars. I'll pop it up here. You know it, you love it. Absolutely beautiful. This is my very first Plum Street piece, which seems a bit sacrilegious because <laughs> I love a lot of her pieces, but somehow I've just never started one before. Um, and I guess it's really not in my normal wheelhouse of things that I like, but I just love this piece. Um, 
so here we are. I'm gonna try to peek around it. Yeah, that's how far I got. So that's the fence down the bottom, and then those are the starting to be the stalks of the sunflowers, I believe. Beautiful. Um, again, we do have a sal, and the hashtag for that on Instagram is Cinnamon Stars 2021 Sal. Because um, I know there was another sal that happened previous because it's a little bit of an older chart. Not like super older, but it's happened before. But if you want to join along on my progress and your progress, if you're just starting and you want to have fresh take on it and find it easier, use that hashtag. Again, if I can put it here, I will. <laughs> Cinnamon Stars 2021 sal. And I'll drop it that hashtag down below so you know that it is. Um, this fabric, someone asked, this is also by Bestitch Me. Look at that. Look at the coloration in that. Holy goodness. And I don't know if this one had a name. I'm looking at my uh, at my journal over here, so it should tell me. This is the way. Cinnamon Stars. It's Escape. Escape. It's Escape by Bestitch Me. That is like 16, 18-ish count. Beautiful. But yeah, if you wanted to sell this with me, go jump along on Instagram, use that, uh, use that hashtag that I said, and stitch with me. That's the sow. Brand new, ready to go. And I'm going to pull this out and start working on it again this month. So, I think that's it for whips as well, because I had a lot of finishes. Already in 2021, I have had, I refer to my handy dandy notebook, I've had one, two, three, four, five finishes. But, <laughs> also in 2021, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have had six new starts already. <laughs> no shame in our game, right, y'all? Because what is this? This is our hobby, and we do what we fucking want. Stitch what we want when we want. Sweet wee. Um, I never use that acronym properly. Like, I never write it out properly. But Michelle Bindi Stitchy, she does. <laughs> I always have to refer back to her. She's the one who says it right. But sweewee is how she says it, and I enjoy saying that word. So, boom. I'm gonna rush through haul really quick because this is already a much longer uh, video than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but this is, so uh, Shannon, Shannon Bromo on Instagram. And she used to come back to floss tube. I miss her, we miss you Shannon. Get back on floss tube making shit. She was having a D stash and she, I missed out on some cool things, but I also found some cool things. I like this fabric flare. I was like, what's that? What is that? That's cool looking. I just lost the, uh, the tag. Oh no, it's literally in my hand. It's 18 count stormy cloud fabric flare. I was like, that's just a, uh, that's cool looking. I don't like it. And so like, it's one of those printed, so it's just white on the reverse side. But then also some cool flosses by Shoes. Ju Design, J-U Design. This is called Fairy Tale. I just liked it, I thought it was pretty. And I'll definitely use something for that. Those are, blue and silver are literally my favorite colors, so it kinda had to go with it. It's my jam. Um, other uh, super sweet stitchy kindness I got from my girl Alicia. Alicia. I always say one of my best friends from high school, from like younger teenage days, is Alicia. And so when I say the name Alicia, it always struggle. I always have to struggle because I'm like, no, it's not that name. She sent me this awesomeness. She said she saw this this pattern. She was like, uh, that's Carla. <laughs> and it's uh, by Waxing Moon Designs, who you know that I love. And it says, warm winter wishes. <laughs> you can see the glare. Oh, look at the snowman setting his little rosy butt on fire. <laughs> from the little campfire. And look at that little fat fucking penguin with his little toque on. The whole thing makes me happy and I love every bit of it. And then she said that this fabric was very me as well. I'm like, yes, it is. It's a, uh, it's 14 count uh, Monet by PTP. Picture this plus. So what else do I have to show you? Um, of course I got this and I loved it. I got it for several things, but uh, 
what I am going to show you first. Well, hopefully I won't show it and be stupid, but um, that Autumn Lane Stitchery design is in here. The Love Birds. I will be starting that. If I can hold off till, till Valentine's Day, I will be shocked, but I'm doing this. Yes, I love this fabric that she has here, but, time out. Oh, no. But I've been looking for something to use this fabric on. <laughs> this is, again, Mystic. Hand dyed by Mystic Fabrics. It's a lot of red fabric, and it'll be perfect for this pattern. So I'm going to be doing this here soon. Probably on Valentine's Day. Um, probably doing it for Athena's birthday, Sal. Um, she has, she said on, because her birthday is on Valentine's Day. So she said to do like a, a stitch along with her. It can be Harry Potter, of course, which I, she said stitch on something Harry Potter, which I do have <laughs> several different, uh, what's my call it? Whips already for Harry Potter, or you can do a stitch on something Valentine's Day. -y. And I think that's going to be my Valentine's Day start and stitch for celebrating the birth of Athena. If you haven't checked out her new floss tube, go run, check it out as soon as my video is done. She is, um, her floss tube channel is called Stitching Goddess. Stitching Goddess Designs? Pretty sure. And she's wonderful. Let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, shoes. They don't want to stand up. Because, hi. Oh, there we go. I'm going to die trying to pet something that I shouldn't. <laughs> she sent me this. <laughs> Y'all, anyone who has watched me for any amount of time and has heard my <laughs> absurd stories and theories about wanting to pet, really just see, but really want to pet a moose in the wild, <laughs> that's how I'm going to die. Flat out, everyone knows this about me. If my children aren't around, if no one's there to stop me, or if no one's there that I need to protect, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll, be di I'll die doing something that I love, but that's how I'm going to die. So she did this in her shop for me. <laughs> she, she has this wonderful cross-stitch design shop now, where she makes t-shirts that have really, really amazing cross-stitch designs. Um, like I keep saying designs and I think that's what they're called because it's not like she's making a pattern of a cross stitch on her shirt But it's saying like, you know cross stitch till I die <laughs> Type thing. There's this really awesome one that she has on there and they're all her own personal designs um, But it says, you know, it says cross stitch like an oval But then it has all of our acronyms all the way around it like Sal and whip and you know FFO and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. So you need to go check her out. It's very, very cool. She has a Facebook group, which I'll link below. And then she also has her brand new floss tube channel. <laughs> go check them out. They're wonderful. But this she sent for me to me because she loves me and she knows that I'm going to die like that. <laughs> She's very aware. Everyone's very aware because that's just who I am as a person. Go check her out. She's wonderful. Okay. Next in my haul list, uh, I kind of want to have something behind this because for you to see how beautiful this is, um, this is, I know I talk, I've talked a lot about them, but um, hand, uh, Mystic's fabric, hand dye by Mystic, this is Haley's Garden Opal Fabric. Y'all, look at that. I got a lot of it. <laughs> so I got this for a specific reason. It's just fuzz. Um, remember when I showed you and talked about the Marshmallow World cell? I'm going to toss up the picture here. And then I'm going to hold up this fabric next to it. So you see, I said I needed to restart what I have. Because I didn't like the kind of yellowish fabric that I did it on. It's pretty fabric, but it's not. It, the colors aren't popping the way I want it. Look at this. This is pink and teal. And brown. This was made for that fab for that design. So I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna put it on here. Look, it talks. I love it a lot. 
um, beautiful. This again, it's called Haley's Garden. I got 18 count opal because I like that little sparkly that's in it. During that time when I bought that, my girl Misty from Mystic Fabrics was also having a grab bag sale. Let's just talk real quick. I know it's glary, but look at these four fabrics. I'm going to take them out. Look, this is a grab bag. I had no idea what it was. I was just like, yeah, she was like, okay, what do you want? Pick some 18 count Opal Ada. This is Vigert, 14 by 18 inches. Look at that. These are healthy sizes. I know Color and Cotton does grab bags. If you ever want some amazing, beautiful fabrics, go visit Misty. She is a fucking genius too. God, look at that. Look at that one. Oh, see, that's very similar to Haley's Garden, but none of the, the teal. It's just a little bit of the pink. <sighs> amazing. Amazing, amazing. I need to go check them out. Um, so, and then also on the I Love Factor, you know, like um, uh, Michelle Bendy, she started the uh, Favorite New Thing. <laughs> I, can, I can never pick just one like Aaron on Steel City Stitchers, I could never, if you had like a crossbow pointed at my head, say, Carla, go pick a favorite of something. I couldn't. So I always have more than, more than one favorites. So all of these fabrics, these are my favorites. And this, moving on, is from Forbidden Fiber Co. Look at this fabric. Look. And look at these. <gasps> look at all these flosses. I went a little nuts and I got like one of everything. I've already used one or two. Shh, don't tell anyone. Eee! Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at that red. Look how perfect that is. Forbidden Fiber Co. I've talked about, excuse me, I've talked about Leanne a lot before. You've heard me mention her from my tapestry. She's the one who completely did all of my flosses. Like we, talked and she dyed those fabric flosses for me. Custom order. Wonderful to work with. Super kind, sweet, funny lady. Go check her out. Again, she has her own website, Forbidden Fiber Co. She um, started as a yarn dyer and then has been, you know, bit by the cross stitch bug and boom. Now we get flosses and fabric. Oh. Super great. Last, um, on haul, I I've been hearing about Silk Weaver for a long time, and I know that they tend to take kind of long to send, to, to fulfill the orders when it's their own personal, because they do their own dyeing, but then they also have just regular Zweigert color bases, okay? I just went with the regular ready to made, and it still took a so be prepared if that ever happens. But this is Damask Ada. No, no, sorry. Just joking. This is Dawn Gray, 18 count. That's very true to color. Very Dawn Gray. This is some Lugana Country Mocha. Not vintage Country Mocha, because is that lighter? Is that what that's supposed to be? No idea. And then, again, 18 count, Dirty Ada. But Silk Weavers, beautiful fabrics. Love them. Just wish they would, you know, hurry a little. That's it on that. Nope, nope, just joking. Last little bit of haul I got. Sorry about the crinkle. Actually, you know, I'm not sorry about the crinkle. Shit, crinkle happens. You know my obsession with Ori TM's Gobbletons, the Gobble Couple. This is Patrick and Molly O'Gobble. <laughs> oh. Look at him. Look. This makes me so fucking happy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Um, I gotta pick out some good fabric. I'm sure all the shit I just got would be good. Uh, but that is glorious. She's coming out with I think seven or eight more gobbletons here soon of the gobble couple. Um, and I'm super stoked. Love, love, love. And then <gasps> Blend in place. This is Gingerbread Grove, right? Yeah. So it has a lot of beading. 
I've never beaded before. Do I want to bead? Do I want to just make those like cool metallic colors and not worry about the beading? I mean, I'm not like super worried about it, but like I know I'll figure it out once I start it. But do I want to just stick with doing floss? I think I'll get it real close in case anyone wanted to see it. <laughs> it what I love about this is I, I think it's Liz Disney. She stitched this and it caught my eye. And the, the photo here doesn't do any justice to how beautiful this pattern is. Um, and I saw her, I followed her rather stalkingly on Instagram, her progress on it. She's finished. Again, I'll put her name down below so you know who I'm talking about and you can go check out her finish of it. Um, it's beautiful and I want it for like a whole like gingerbread village scene that I have going on, like a vignette here for my uh, holiday decoration. No idea when I'm gonna start this, but eventually I will. Okay, so last thing I wanna talk about in haul, I guess, is this Stitchly box. This was really, really cool. Um, the wonderful people at Stitchly reached out to me and asked me to kind of review their beginner's box that they have. Um, it They are based and it's designed, everything is put, I don't want to say put together because it's put together here, but it's based out of Ireland, right here, which of course I love anyways, um, made me love them more, but they, the, it's through Amazon, like it's distributed through Amazon, so you go to Amazon and send out the links, or you, you go to, they go to Amazon and they send it out to you when you purchase it there. This is a very, very cool box. I didn't really know what to expect when, um, when I got it. But this is everything that comes in it. I'm going to show you here. It's rather adorable and it's very comprehensive. They covered all your bases. Um, very cool scissors. Snips, I guess these would be called. Um, because they have, they're the snippy kind. I left everything in kind of the thing here. But three very good hoops. These are very sturdy, well made. They're beech wood. Um, they're rounded on the edges, so they're more comfortable to hold. And then also for finishing as well. Um, it's nice for that. All of the floss came pre-bobbinated and with labels on it. Super awesome. <laughs> Very good needle threaders. And some kind of, uh, I don't want to call them wonky, but they're different than what I'm used to. Maybe in, maybe in, in Europe, this is the kind they use. They look almost like tapestry needles. These are big ass needles, like... Big ass needles and teeny tiny little eye eyes for them. Um, maybe that's the kind they use over there that, that's better. I don't know. I'm willing to, I'm going to try. I'm going to see how they go. But they're very thick. Not in a bad way they're thick, but they're sturdy. You can tell they're not going to bend super easy. And that's good. And then those type of threaders are some of my favorites. I don't want to share any state, state secrets, but you get this very uh, detailed beginner's guide to doing the cross stitch. I have several different designs in here. Colored, um, they're in color. They are very well thought out. You get some pre-cut Ada. One, two, three, four, five, five pieces for the designs that are in the book. And then you also get this really cool pre-printed design with this cool rainbow. All the time that I have been doing, all the time, like the three-ish years that I've been doing cross stitch, I have actually never seen a printed, um, like it come printed on the Ada like this. I know it's, this is how they used to do it a long time ago too, um, but I think that's just cool. And then this washes out, obviously, so that you don't have to, like when you go to finish it, it's, you don't still have the grid lines or this here or anything. I'm like that's just genius. Like imagine like teaching a small one how to do it or someone who has never, under, you know, really seen cross stitch before. You're like, no, you just paint by number. <laughs> very smart, very well packaged, very well thought out package here for a beginner stitcher or for someone just to kind of up their game, like, you know, wants to up their uh, stash. So I definitely, I will put the link below. Um, I don't get any sort of kickback if you purchase from them. So don't, if that bothers you, don't worry about that. It's cool. Um, very kind, very cool product. I, I definitely am going to keep them in mind for several other pieces that I'm looking at for gifts because I know a lot of my friends have shown interest in wanting to get into cross-stitching. So there's that. Um, 
the last and final thing I want to talk about is I reached 2,000 subscribers. Yay! I did this at the beginning of the year, I believe. I think that sounds right, right? Almost a month ago, I think, is when I finally got to it. Finally hit that 2K mark, but I wanted to do a giveaway and kind of just to say thank you to everyone that's hung out with me for <laughs> the past, how was it, a little over a year? I think I've been doing this. That's about right. I think it'll be, I think it's over a year. It doesn't matter. This is my 25th one and here we are. Um, it's been, it's been a wild ride. Thank you for putting up with all my craziness and my kind of sporadic uh, uploading schedule, but I just wanted to say thank you. So in that vein, I have a giveaway and you see part of it right there. This is a Garon Toten bag that will be part of the giveaway. It's only gonna be one, one thing that you win. And I had said before that I was gonna do a, what's the word, an auction, but no, I, I wanna, I, I'm saving this for you. For you guys um it is beautiful it is look at this gorgeous fabric on the inside this would hold let's see my normal yeah i normally my preferred q snap is it uh like a zombified 8 by 11 fits in there perfect i've never used this so it's coming to you brand new it's just been sitting in my cedar chest <laughs> so that's part one of the giveaway Part two are these three really cool, sorry about the glare, these three really cool patterns. I like I'll just pop that one out there like boop. Um, these are all by, from my awesome friend, Deanna at Darling and Whimsy. This is Bertram, the Be Mine. I believe she just came out with a new one, for, or it's coming out. Am I, am I sharing state secrets, Deanna? Have you already announced that one? <laughs> I get to be in on some of the, um, sneaky peekies <laughs> as we say so i don't know if it's already been told to the mass market yet but be looking for another one of, of Bert, B, uh, bertram i can never say his name the b it's coming out in valentine's day pattern so this will be one pattern <gasps> number four of her quirky quakers is the fox that'll be pattern number two and number five of her quirky quakers is the reindeer i love these so you'll get the Garon Toten bag, those three patterns, all by Deanna. And you'll also be getting this uh, rather large piece of white Lugana, 28 count, I believe. Might be 32. Pretty sure it's 28. You do not have to stitch this, stitch those patterns on this. That's not part of it. And also, I wanted to, if you had never used any sort of color and cotton or fancy floss, I wanted to put some dark in to go in there for you. It's not a whole lot, but it's here. And it's something to kind of show my appreciation to the people that have stuck by me this whole time and have, you know, put up with my craziness <laughs> and comment and always, you know, show my love or show love to me, which is really, really cool. So thank you for that, guys. And that, I will send that out anywhere. It's going to be in, I'll ship all over the world. It'll be one package. Um, and the word you should say is quirky. <laughs> because I have been described numerous times as quirky <laughs> and quirky Quakers. So you'll get that entire package of the bag, the designs, the fabric, and the floss. So if you put in your comment below the word quirky, I'm going to hold up the word so you know how to spell it. <laughs> Q-U-I-R-K-Y. For some reason, I thought that was different. But it's, yeah, Q-U-I-R-K-Y, quirky. Don't say giveaway. Don't say free or none of any of those trigger words that pull out the, the a-holes that try to come in and swoop up pre you know prizes that don't actually you know belong here type thing. People that don't actually stitch just want to get free stuff and that just shocks me. So yeah, that is, use that word in your comment below. I will keep it open probably the next two to three weeks, probably until I, till I, sti till I film again. So probably beginning of March is when it'll be open. Um, I will let all, you, all of you know when it closes and I will comment on your comment when I pick a winner. So yay. Uh, I think that's it. I'm trying to go through all of my notes in my head. 
Um, did all the whips, did all the FFOs. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. So two things, quirky for the, the giveaway, don't say giveaway, be 18, um, be a subscriber, it's important. And then also, aside from that, let me know for that, um, for the, uh, the Forever Would Never Sal, that's what it's called. I finally remembered it for, uh, for Catherine Paper Crane's Forever Would Never. This is the, this is the picture again I'm going to show you. Um, let me know if I should keep going with the, the kind of tan in the purple, or if I should start again with the white, crisp white in the purple. So let me know. And then if you want to be entered, say quirky. I love you guys. Thanks for being awesome. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon. Keep being awesome. Bye.